To the Vatican now, where tens of thousands of faithful bid farewell to Pope Emeritus Benedict at a rare mass today. Benedict's successor, Pope Francis, presided over the ceremony before the pontiff was laid to rest in the crypts beneath the Vatican. ABC's Mike Marza has the details. His final resting place, the first crypt of John Paul II, which was vacated when John Paul II became a saint and was moved to a chapel inside the basilica. Before his death, Benedict had requested a simple ceremony. His successor, Pope Francis, celebrating the funeral mass. The first time in modern history, a current pope eulogized a retired pope. When Pope John Paul II died, there were more than a million people here in Rome. But Benedict had withdrawn from the public after he resigned and the crowds were much smaller. An estimated 50,000 people gathered to pay the respects. The first time I couldn't believe just how his humility and his love for the church, his piety came shining through when he entered that balcony for the first time. I thought, I need to be here because he is my pope. Cardinals and other religious leaders in attendance, as well as delegations from Italy and Germany, Benedict's home country. The bells of all Catholic churches across Germany rang out during his funeral. Benedict spent nearly a decade of retirement in virtual seclusion within the walls of the Vatican. He's going to re be remembered as one of the greatest intellects in the history of the church, which is saying something in 2,000 years. Pope Benedict is considered one of the 20th century's greatest theologians who spent his entire lifetime upholding the church's doctrine. He will also be remembered as the first pontiff in some six centuries to retire and act that may have changed the papacy. Mike Marza, ABC News, the Vatican.